Hey, what's up? I've received a lot of questions about two year degrees in programming, especially about getting an associate's degree in computer science rather than a four year bachelor's degree. First, let's take a look at what it takes to get an associate's degree in computer science, and then we can compare it to the other options to figure out if it's worth it. So here's the requirements for an associate's degree from a local university. First off, you'll need to pass 62 credit hours of classes. 39 of those are generals, history, ethics, and values, you just won't need most of these to become a programmer. I mean, the most useful classes here are really gonna be the writing classes and one lower division math class. Then there's the core recs. These are the classes that are specific to the field you're going into. Two of the seven are math classes. The other five are related to programming. That's just under a quarter of the classes being actual computer science courses. And those core classes are lower division classes, which means they're gonna give you a broad introduction to programming concepts. You're also gonna learn a little bit about web development and it looks like even some assembly, some basic algorithm stuff. And that's at least gonna be two programming languages right there. Don't get me wrong, these classes are gonna help you in your career but you aren't gonna be spending enough time on any one particular topic to really develop enough proficiency to have it make a huge impact. Much of the coursework is going to involve theory at the expense of hands-on experience. Compare that to someone who decides to go to a boot camp or to a specialized trade school, and they end up focusing on learning technologies and practical skills in areas that are in high demand, and they're getting a lot of hands-on experience, and they're even gonna come away from that experience with a portfolio that they can show to a potential employer. Consider this, by the time you finish your general courses, someone else has already graduated from a boot camp. They might even already have an entry-level job long before you even get to your computer science classes. Here's the thing, if you're already willing to commit two years to an academic program, then you should just bite the bullet and go all the way and spend the four years and get a computer science degree. I know that's what I would do if I was starting over. And I wouldn't even worry about the specifics of the associate's degree requirements and trying to get that before getting the bachelor's degree. I just work straight on the bachelor's degree and get that done as soon as possible. And the reason for that is an associate's degree just is not going to carry the same weight as a bachelor's degree in computer science. If getting the four-year degree isn't an option, I would seriously consider going down the path of an intensive boot camp or a trade school, or even going down the self-taught route to becoming a programmer. If I were looking at two job applicants and one had an associate's degree in computer science and the other had six months at a boot camp and a year and a half experience, I would likely go for the boot camp grad. This person would have more practical experience and would likely be able to just hit the ground running. There are definitely ways to become a successful programmer without getting a college degree, and some of those strategies are way better than others. In this video up here, I'm gonna share the strategies that I personally use to become a self-taught software developer, and I'll see you in the next one. Leets.